Yo, what's up guys? Today we got to do some swamp fishing and this is the first time I've done a tournament on YouTube. It's gonna be very exciting and uh, I have an awesome team here. Right here, legendary one rod, one reel. Hey, Good to see you again. Yeah, man. Just like old times. Heck yeah, remember when we went to Florida before you were famous? <laughs> I do, I the, do. Dude, those, those are OG times. The gator? <laughs> Jimmy's K? I do remember that giant ass gator. So guys, the tournament is going to be simple. Two versus two. I'm going to show you guys the two folks reversing a little later. But basically, Mike and I need to catch a lot of fish. One point per fish, basically, with the top water frog. Any other lures, two points. And a team with the biggest fish, fiver. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. The, Morning just started, cold front. It's gonna be a little tough. The fish don't wait, let's get out there. All right, guys, look at that kayak. Oh my gosh. Hmm, well, at least uh, Mike has a buddy to paddle with, but see how it paddles with two people? It's not going straight, it's not tracking. Oh my gosh, guys, I think I gotta carry hard here. But uh, you know, it's legendary Mike. He'll, he'll probably pull the big fish. So that's what I'm banking on. And let's talk about strategy right now. I spoke with Mike and Mike said um, he agreed with me. Top water frogs would probably be the best idea because that's what snakeheads like to bite most, which is why you said it's one point for uh, hollow body frogs. And um, yeah, we're gonna go for the number of fish and hopefully the biggest fish. I'm gonna start off today with this mango tango looking like lure. This lure is from uh, Asia and um, snakehead stalker, SS Custom Baits. Got this from him. You guys should check him out in the link in the description below. But I have a feeling, because this looks very similar to my lures, but it's a little bigger, a little heavier. I'm hoping the bigger lure will catch some bigger fish, right? So let's get to it. Uh, let me angle this down for you guys to see how it's going. Oh yeah, it does what I exactly like with my frogs. See how it's dipped backwards, okay? So Mike is obviously gonna use Guggen frogs, but uh, you know, if he um, fails with the his frogs, I know he's gonna use one of these because you know, snakehead love it. Uh, obviously, there's bass here too and other stuff. We'll see what bites. So guys, my strategy is gonna be a little different because Mike, he has to sit down because he has an inflatable kayak. So I'm gonna stand and I'm gonna look for the, the snakehead pods. I see that the, they actually, the other two folks over there, they took my strategy. They gotta head towards that side where the sun beat on first. It's probably warm up quicker. And that will bring, you know, small stuff up and out. And uh, baby snakeheads will go out and eat and the parents will follow. Oh crap, something right here, I spooked it. But, um, darn it. But yeah guys, uh, my goal is to look for that snakehead. I see Todd is not moving yet, he's not standing up. Uh, I don't know if um, Becky uh, is gonna stand on her small kayak, her, she's new to it. So uh, if she stands, you know, you know, we're definitely at disadvantage. So we'll see how it goes. First fish of the day. Yeah. 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 Dude. First snakey snakey. Whew. All right. Look at this. Boy, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Got the first snakey. All right, let me reconnect with Mike for a second. All right, guys, that was a rookie mistake of me. Uh, I did something terrible. I did not, and I was in prep. I forgot to put my lipper gripper in front of my kayak. And when I shut my camera off to go back, so I guess restart my filming, he flopped off. But it counts, we, I landed it. Um, I don't think it will count for a big fish a day, but it's okay. Uh, I think we got plenty more to go. Plenty more time. That was like, um, I don't know, 10 minutes in since uh, we, I did my intro, so it's good. Uh, I forgot to mention that it's a four hour competition. By um, 10.45, we are done. All right, folks, so, rookie mistake, guys, but it's okay. I will cover more water. I heard them scream over there. They're, they're bundled up together. So I have a feeling they caught a fish as well. I just don't know how big their fish is and what they caught and what they caught it with, but one point with a frog is a good way to start the day. Whew. I am hot already. Look, 
second one. There's a bass. Oh yeah. Got a bass. Whew. All right. Not a big, big bass, but you know, we'll take it. We'll take it. This is probably a two pounder. Two pound bass. Yeah, make sure I got this. Yes, two toto. All right, snakehead stock allure for the win. All right, guys, I'm drinking some apple juice with jasmine. This is Asian stuff right here. I wonder if they want to drink some Asian drinks later. I have no idea, but my hand's a little dirty. It's all right. Whoop, here we go. Time to drink, hydrate up. Fish faster. Yeah. We gotta start paddling. All right. Mike just said he'll carry his weight. The way that he's paddling through that thing right now. <laughs> he's carrying his weight via paddling. <laughs> Yo, that thing is thick. I'm gonna show you guys later. Like you guys see how thick this stuff is? It, see below, like my stuff, my line is pretty much stuck, right? Imagine them paddling through that gunk. Like for me, I have like straight, sharp, hard bottom, uh, kayak, right? So I just pff, torpedo through that thing, but they have a flat bottom. They're sitting on that thing. I bet they'll be so tired. I heard a snakehead pop up and breathe, but it's so hard to figure out where they're at because uh, we have so many paddles here today. But uh, you know, the goal right now, we're gonna look for some pods. We're gonna paddle fast, and then I'm gonna fish fast. Um, cold front sucks. Bite is kind of turned down after the morning. It is close to 9 a.m. So what I'll do is, since they're kind of a little slower, I'm gonna paddle faster. And I'm looking for those snakehead pods. And hopefully, you know, I could get some of those snakehead pods bite because it's more of a protection rather than, you know, feeding, right? So we'll, we'll try that and uh, see if there's anything. So it, it's just tough. Like I see in open water, there's stuff blowing up every, where? Like that, like that. Uh, that's a snakehead for sure because see that uh, um, dragonfly? He was trying to eat that dragonfly. So there's a snake here somewhere. So I'm gonna stay quiet and just flip over just like that and see if uh, he's still around. And this is the dangle frog. You know, it just dangles, right? So I'm just gonna go twitch, twitch, dangle, dangle. If he's still here, he might take it. Who knows? But it doesn't look like he wants it. I'm gonna go a little further, so don't spook anything. And let's go bring it in. Hopefully, uh, you know, the snakey snakey's right here. Yeah, nope. Have you only gotten two bites and you've landed two fish? Yes. That's impressive, 100% ratio on the frogs. I like your frogs, he looks so cute. Yeah, it's rainbow. Mango. Mango, baby. Look cute. See, it looks, it looks nice. see how it dangles? It dips down? Yep, I see, yep. I, see, I, I mean, that's good. That's really good for, especially for snakeheads. The snakeheads a lot of times miss the bait, right? Yes, and the hookup ratio for that and bass, up. Up, got it. Yeah, uh, Guggen Squad, guys. Make this frog, you make money. Yeah. Jimbo, guarantee it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check that out here. I'll check it out later today. Give me one and I'll-, I'll You can have more than that. I'm gonna give you a, your, your favorite color, the rainbow one. And the thing is, this action, there's none, no other in America right now. Like if you looked at all the ICAST frogs yep. this year, yep. not impressed. But yeah, if anyone bring this out by next year, ICAST, I guarantee you, bass fishing, snakehead fishing, game changer. The dangle, man, like your shirt, the dangle. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll do a gig for you guys for Guggen. I'll represent it. That snake just came out. No, didn't even. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw that. That was crazy. I wish that could happen to my lure. Holy smokes! I think I spooked the minnow, and uh, snake just came out. I was trying to eat it. This looks sneaky as heck. 
Oh, come on, Winnie. Oh, look at that, see? That's a freaking snake right there. Oh, my line spooked the crap out of him. It's so spookish today. Okay, one more time. I see a lot of those uh, dragonflies and damselflies right over there. So we'll cast right there. And hopefully there's one snakehead chasing those guys and they'd be willing to hit the frog rather than the dragonflies. I love dragonflies, okay? It tells you where the snakeheads are sometimes. Even bass, like they have good eyesight. Unfortunately, oh, here it goes, it hit me. It hit me. Crap. Oh, oh, he hit my line. This one window where it finally bites, like I was casting here earlier, and that's a gar. And then all of a sudden, it started, you know, moving all around. To my right, this dragonfly has been telling me a story. And um, gotta read the waters, everyone. We have less than a few minutes left before we had to go to weigh-in. And this, this right here might be my ticket. So I'm gonna try like two more casts. Oh my gosh, I just heard something in the back. Uh, yo, oh my gosh. I think uh, they might have caught another fish. So I need to hurry up. Oh, got him. Yes, yes, yes. Hold it. Can I get it through this? Can I get it through this? No, no, no. I, uh, I, uh. All right, guys, it's 1041. I'm gonna paddle out right here. I see one last spot. They say it ain't over till it's over, right? So what I'll do is I'm gonna start paddling over there. I see um, right here. So I'll paddle hard, get up over there, just do a few casts and that's really it. But uh, man, it was a tough day. I can't believe I lost a few right there. Missed a few strikes, but can't give up, guys. <sighs> it's over, 1044. Yeah, you did. I thought that was Did he save the day? No. Yeah! guys you guys can't believe this i got it this is probably the only fish gonna be weighed all day i think you don't even have to wait you already won it southern death is it ah yeah the w right behind us we're all talking we stopped fishing because we were going into southern death sudden death oh mike was just doing his uh, like update. I just freaking saw a baby pod right there and I was like, boom. I was like, if I get this last one right here, I'm gonna gift it to Becca so she could do her catch and cook. Guys, you would not believe this. The time was over and it called sudden death, right? And it's like the next fish wins. And literally a minute after they said that, I saw a pod of babies and I just flipped it in there, pow! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, guys, that was freaking amazing. That one catch right there, sudden death. But now they're gonna come over here and uh, they told me something interesting on what they have decided for the loser team as I was coming here. Uh, and I was shocked hearing it, but it's actually pretty good because uh, there's a lot of things here. 
anything you see in the swamp is either poisonous or very edible. And uh, after some googling, they have selected something to eat. So let's uh, let them do some recording, and then I'm gonna film them eat something. <laughs> no, it's worse. Oh damn! Yeah. All right. No idea. All right, guys. So I have these two guests up north. We have Todd fishing grubs. Then we have Becca. Becca fishing. Fishing with fishing Becca. With Becca. <laughs> fishing with Becca. There we go, guys. I have to be blessed. I have to say with uh. Uh, my situation, I have not been able to travel anywhere, but I have folks around the world who's wanted to come visit me and catch some fish. And today, these two were competing against me and Mike. Ooh, it was tough. But guys, I want you guys to let me know one thing. What have you guys decided that loser must do? We have to eat all these beautiful, one, one stem and one of the leaves. A oh bike. my God, a, a bike. bike. Oh no, man. Okay, okay. <laughs> I didn't hear that part, so. Well, I'm just gonna puke it out, so it doesn't matter. Puke it out? Okay. Yeah, puke it out, you just can't spit it. Oh my eyes. <laughs> oh my god. Let's take a bite. Look over here. I gotta make sure you bit it. Uh, oh, she bit it. Oh, she bit it. She <laughs> 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 took a chunk out of that. Mm. Thing you got, Dad. These guys right here. Oh I mean, it looks god. like it's okay. No. It's not okay, That's... okay, no, it's not okay. Oh man. Oh, I can't swallow it. It's okay. It's okay. You can go see a doctor afterwards. <laughs> the skin is so hard. That is, dude, no. Like, my mouth is doing things I never felt before. Like, not in a good way. Like, my throat feels like it's suffocating. That's a good one, bro. Here we go, guys. That's Jimmy. Mike. Cheers. Oh, man. Dude, he took uh -huh. a big chomper. Uh -huh. What are you eating, Lee? The stem. Oh, stem. Oh, that. That is so gross. It's bad. It's bad. Dude, I feel bad. Don't go for the swallow. No. <laughs> that I, I. That's where I messed up. Uh, uh. By the way, guys, on record, I did not select any punishment. I was gonna say we're gonna sing, and I was confident being Asian. I do, you know, I'm a karaoke Mike Hogger, and I was gonna sing a song. I'm gonna take a little bite of this stem right here. So Mike is eating the stem just because he didn't catch anything. He's a skunk boy. Oh, it's so bitter. It's so it's bitter. So bitter. <laughs> <laughs> that's so disgusting. You have to eat that. Wait, that's actually the most bitter thing I've ever eaten. I uh, told you they were dramatic. I thought they were exaggerating a little bit. That is mm -mm. the most bitter tasting plant I've ever. Oh, are you sure that's not poisonous? Oh it my gosh. Poisonous. So guys, that was uh, pretty much it for the day. We did. Four hours for the competition. It was insane. Bluebird sky, it was tough. I missed a few uh, snakehead blow ups. Uh, lost one pulling out of the muck. But I am so happy for that sudden death. And I gotta say, you guys have to uh, give credit to these folks right here. Camera around. These two here, man, soldiers. Eating swamp plant life. Disgusting. <laughs> so make sure you guys check out the channel. We got Becca, we got Todd. Of course, we got the legendary Mike. Go Drexel Dragons! All right, so uh, guys, I think um, they love fishing the swamp so much that they say they are willing to do another trip soon. So uh, stay tuned for that. Peace out, guys. The fish don't wait. Get out there, catch some fish.